Greetings LEGO fans, my name is Sasha and I am the Montreal LEGO Maniac. And for today's build, I'm pleased to bring to you from the Ideas line, this dinosaur exhibit. This features its skeletons of a Triceratops, T-Rex, and a Petrodon. But I don't think there's a whole lot of extra features beyond that. I think pretty much what you see is what you get. Nice little display kit. But before we can evaluate that, let's open the box, check out what we got inside, and then get the build underway. Having completed the dinosaur fossils, I'm finding I'm really enjoying this Ideas line. It's not as constrained and restricted as the other series out there like Star Wars, Friends, Ninjago or whatever, because it doesn't fall into a theme. It's all about the imagination of the home builder out there who has an idea to share and has created something great for everyone to enjoy. The creator of this kit has done a fantastic job of recreating three classic dinosaurs and mounted them on display. Starting with the smallest one, we have the Petrodon Longiceps. Mounted in the flying position, it's not hard to imagine how this once great dinosaur with its massive wingspan would have been swooping through the air, causing fear to all the small animals that it would have been preying on, on the ground beneath it. And it should be noted that even though this one is the smallest of the three, I find it no less satisfying to look at than the other two. I really enjoy looking at this one and thinking about my classes on evolution. 
Although proportions change, the skeletal structure of animals from then to right through till now hasn't really changed all that much. And it's really quite apparent when you look at this one top down. Next up, we have the Triceratops Horridus. This massive herbivore looks great mounted on his display stand. With his iconic giant tusks in the front and that huge bony structure behind his head, the iconic features of this dinosaur are beautifully recreated. With its four big legs that would support the massive weight of this beast, its big ass rib cage, the nice little tail, and even the details in the mouth kind of looks more like a herbivore than a carnivore to me, so well done to the creator because it looks fantastic. And last, but certainly not least, we have the iconic Tyrannosaurus Rex. One of the most famous and easily recognizable dinosaurs, the T-Rex is definitely my favorite amongst these three. With his huge, powerful legs that he stands on, those tiny, spindly little arms, much smaller rib cage than the uh, Triceratops, but also having a much bigger head with much, much bigger teeth, which, of course, as an apex predator, it would be required to have. And to complete the set, we've got the minifigures, of which we have two. We've got a classic Lego skeleton mounted on his little Lego sapien stand and given a little Indiana Jones hat for a little cuteness. And we have our archaeologist with his magnifying glass and his most recent fossil discovery in hand. And to complete the set, the archaeologist has a little crate full of supplies, equipped with a little book on fossils, a coffee mug, a little dinosaur egg that Boney was carrying earlier, and some of those tools he needs to extract his fossils from the ground. And that pretty much covers the features for this kit. It's basically a what you see is what you get. No extra features, not much to hide, but I mean, it's bones. There's not supposed to be anything to hide. And I think it's pretty clear to say that this set is made for display and not for play. Each of the dinosaurs are permanently affixed to the display stands, so you can't really remove them and play with them. And even if you did, there's a lot of tiny little bits on them that come off really easily. So play is not really ideal. But as the display piece, it looks fantastic, and the little display stands work really well with showing them off. For the foreseeable future, these guys are going to look great sitting on my shelf. And if one day I decide to take them apart, that's just fine because it's Lego and that's what it's for. Reuse it, repurpose it, make what you want, love it, enjoy it, because that's what Lego is all about. Building what comes in the box and then one day turning it to your own creations. And that wraps up this review. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you back here next week for the next one. Until then, have a good one. Bye.